we'll give you some in a minute. In the Griffin household, sleeping arrangements are truly a family affair. Dad is always on the outside of us. I'm always in the middle, and Mabel's always on the edge. And just the two of us. Eleven-month-old Mabel will never sleep in a crib. Mom Taya Griffin doesn't believe in using them. Rather, Mabel has been getting her sleep right next to Mom, sharing the same bed. It is one of the best experiences that I've had um, as, as a mom because waking up to this little thing smiling at you every morning right there is, 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 uh, is incredible. The Canadian Pediatric Society says the number of families who bed share has almost doubled in the last two decades. A worrisome trend, it says, because they recommend that a safer sleeping environment for infants is one where there's no bed sharing. I know that there are a lot of mothers and uh, that want to breastfeed and feel that that's the right way, but I think we still need to educate them uh, to, uh, about the idea that they are actually putting their child at greater risk by um, keeping that baby in bed with them. In the latest study, U.S. researchers reviewed more than 8,000 baby deaths from sleep-related causes in 24 states. In infants under four months, almost 74% were bed-sharing at the time of death, sleeping on or near an adult. For infants between four months and a year, the percentage was nearly 60%, and they were more likely to die from rolling into objects like pillows or blankets in the bed. Our goal is to make sure that parents are making these decisions in an informed manner and realize that they are taking a risk. Informing parents about that risk is something the Canadian Pediatric Society says pediatricians and maternity nurses need to talk with parents even before they bring their newborn home. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto. <laughs> Joining me now with more on this is CBC Medical contributor Dr. Danielle Martin. So, Dr. Parents have pretty strong feelings on, on this. It's been raised as a, as a risk factor for many years, but a lot of parents still want to do it. Why, why is that? Well, I mean, for starters, the majority of parents don't uh, co-sleep with their babies on a regular basis. But I think there is a, a range of factors that contribute to the decision of a family to uh, have a family bed or to sleep with their, with their newborn. Sometimes it's convenience. You know, you're breastfeeding, you're tired, it's the middle of the night, you don't want to get up to put the baby down. Down, and sometimes it's more of a philosophical or even a cultural thing. So we have to understand and work with those factors, but at the same time recognize that the data are pretty strong, that it is a significant risk factor for uh, unexpected death in infants. So give us some tips for parents of, of new ones of uh, how to avoid sleep-related death. So the safest way for a baby to sleep is on their back. That's really important, never on their stomach in, uh, in a young baby, in their own crib or bassinet, preferably in the same room as the parents for the first six months of life without blankets, uh, no uh, bumper pads or stuffed animals or other objects in the crib. And you want to be careful not to overheat a, a newborn baby. So uh, usually a baby would need one more layer than you need yourself to be comfortable. So multiple layers or swaddling with multiple blankets isn't necessary and can, can contribute to overheating. Thanks so much, doctor. Thanks. Dr. Danielle Martin.